What is going on guys? My name is Pakazak and I'm here to show you how to make this cool bell sound. It sounds like this. Let's talk about how I kind of arrived at this. Um, first I was just kind of messing with citrus, just experimenting with some frequency modulation and, uh, so what I did was, here, let me put this back. I'm gonna turn this down just in case it's loud. And take that off. So basically I was just experimenting with really, really slow modulation and I'll do that. So it, it may not be obvious to you, but what mo frequency modulation is, it's modulating a carrier, which is just a certain pitch um, of a certain whatever wave, it, whatever waveform it is. In this case, I'm just doing a sine wave and um, I'll do it by a triangle. So it's, it's pretty easy to see. It's modulating that pitch by another pitch, which is a very low frequency. So since it's so low, it's you can hear, it's audible to hear that actual movement because that's the speed of the certain wave of what frequency this is. And um, so I was like experiment, I was turning it up slowly. And I noticed it almost seems like that, it, I mean, it is, it's covering a wider, wider, wider and wider range of frequencies as I turn up the pitch of the modulator. Wide, skinny. And, um, so what I did was, as I kept turning it up, I kept lowering the volume of the modulator to keep it more in a, a skinnier range of frequencies. And I kept doing that until I got around, you know, 7.55 or something like that. And actually, I'll show you how it arrives there. And it the according to the spectrum it seemed and i mean just listening to it it's almost bell like already i mean you can't hear it yet because i don't have the volume envelope on but um yeah i mean as opposed to the volume all the way up this is probably gonna be loud it's just so many frequencies and as you turn it down you see less and less harmonics less and less frequencies less and less harmonics whatever you want to call it but, um, and I turned it down to about 1% and that was it. And it already sounds kind of like a bell. And so yeah, that's kind of how I arrived to that. And that's why I wanted to show you in that plain citrus there. And, um, and of course, you know, you add the volume envelope. And I turned it up because it was too low, too low of a sound. I wanted a higher pitched bell. And there you go. And that's already like a standard bell right there. But on to how I kind of customize this to sound in like this. Let me turn it back up. So it, I, like I said, I'd start out with just a plain old sine wave, but I did add a few like random almost harmonics until I just, I kind of picked and chose until I found the few that I liked that added on to the sound and created more of a metallic-y sound because they're just random harmonics in there. And um, so that's just sine wave with random phases and harmonics added. And uh, I'm modulating it by a triangle because that also influences the metallic -y. It actually makes the sound more sharper, I feel. So like, listen. So yeah, I mean it's 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 a little bit it's almost unnoticeable, but it's definitely you can hear a difference. And um and I wanted I did 7.55 randomly just cuz I didn't want it in the same uh like the same tuning really as the bass, the carrier, the fundamental bass sound frequency and that you're hearing. So just 
adds, you know, more of a random metallic-y harmonic sound. Because that's what, I mean, you get that like metallic sound from things not lining exactly right up and they're just, you know, it's it's more of certain harmonics that are off from each other. But yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's that. I don't want to forget anything. Um, also I added just very bright reverb with, I mean, it's kind of like to taste. I took the high damping, which is basically where the frequencies are more, more prominent in the reverb signal. And if you turn it up to like, you know, 15, 16,000 Hertz, you really hear that. And that's just kind of a taste thing. If you want the atmospheric, you know, high frequency range to linger, you can do that. But I just didn't want it for like in that sound. So I turned down around 1000 Hertz and, um, decay is about like six seconds or so volume is pretty high. And, uh, uh, I turned the high cut down again cause I didn't want all that high frequency information in there. Just more like, you know, just laid back kind of reverb, I call it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I did add some chorus to it because I thought it gave it a cool stereo effect as opposed to just... Kind of gives it that cool feel to it. And uh, no unison or anything like that. And I did add some randomness, okay? So... Um, I... I mean, you don't have to do volume randomness. I just did that because I'm not actually using my MIDI keyboard that detects velocity um, curves, velox velocity sensitivity. But um, yeah, and uh, but I did do, what am I looking for? Yeah, phase. I did do phase just to give it that random sound, that random, uh, to make it more sound more like an actual instrument, you know? And it's not just the same every single hit. But more interesting is what I, what did I do here? I forgot what I did already. Oh yeah, it was in the filter. So I'm running it through a filter and uh, it's a low pass filter. So basically it's just something like this. And that was affecting what you guys were hearing. I didn't even, I forgot I didn't change it back. That's really what it's supposed to sound like. And, um, <laughs> I can't believe I forgot about that, but, uh, yeah. So, but basically what is going on is I put into a, a low pass and the randomizer makes it. So every hit is a different, I set it for the cutoff frequency. So every hit, it's going to be a different cutoff frequency. So it's going to be moving from like here to here, 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 one hit, here, one hit, you know, so every hit is a different position. And if you, if you notice really carefully, I'll do it drastically so you can hear it more. I'll hit one note. I mean, that's a very exaggerated, uh, randomness, but, um, you can see that some hits are some of the higher frequency information is taken away more than other hits, which feel like the high frequency information is there a lot. And so, yeah, that's just another little trick to make it sound more like an actual instrument and not synthesized. It makes it sound different every time. And I kind of like that. So yeah, um, that's basically the it. That's the whole sound here. Um, yeah. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this and also if you have any suggestions for future videos, different ideas, I would really like to hear from you guys, and that'd be cool. Um, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.